another way of seeing this, it's like setting up a metal detector, only it's for thoughts. That's what he was thinking about, like in an airport. If you've gone to an airport and uh, you've gone through the metal detector there, I don't know if you've flown recently, and it's been some time since I've flown, but I remember taking a flight, which was just a few years after 9-11, and, um, and man, they, had, they realized there's some enemies out there, and they had to crack down on the protection and the security, and uh, they, they weren't playing around with it. We would go through, and if it, eh, you know, anything like that, we'd go, eh, go through, and they would call you back. This is the one in particular that helped me in my life. Uh, the Lord brought this to me. This is a good 20 years ago. Think about it this way. And it began to help me just have a detector there. And just when you realize these thoughts, these things, the, 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 the worry and the, the fear that's coming, when it gets right there and it tries to go through the detector, just that's where you knock it down. No, right now. And I got to the place, and I wouldn't do this, you know, if other people around, like driving in the car or something like that. But I would literally do like a beeper buzzer sound out loud. Some kind of thought tried to come, this attack in the soul, the anxiousness, and, the, and the, we would try to come, I would just go, eh. Please don't try this at home. Like I said, you can do this one at Walmart, it'll be okay. They won't think anything about it. Walking down the aisle, eh. Set me on a different path. Set me on a different path. Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning in Luke. And then immediately he says, therefore, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Well, where is this battle, this deceiving that is coming through the mind? And, and to this day, I don't do it as much, but there was a season there, but I wasn't one. Eh. No, you don't. And I was standing up, and man, there is a freedom here when you recognize this, the order of creation, who God has made you, and how much he loves you. He's not left you without this control, without this power over your own life.